what is going on guys, your boy Sizzle here, bringing guys in a logo tutorial. You guys completely enjoyed my previous logo tutorial, which is the process of creating a logo tutorial, the whole entire like step-by-step -step thing, and you guys killed the comment section with asking me, uh, you know, what about this logo, what about that logo, why is, why are you doing this logo, this logo is harder. And you guys understand there's a whole bunch of different logos that are hard for other people, which are super, super easy, that come so, you know, fluently to other people, so you gotta understand that. But, uh, there's an alternative to actually doing your own, uh, you know, creation and just, you know, making a, a letter out of, you know, surrounding objects or things like that, you can just think differently. I just want you guys to think differently. So that's what I did in this whole entire tutorial. I actually showed you guys from start to finish how to create this logo right here. All completely done. No, like, you know, you know, BS, like, already sketched stuff. It was sketched in this video as well as pen tools. So I hope you guys do enjoy this video. So don't forget, 200 likes on this video gives a secret download below. Uh, if you guys have yet to leave a like and then see if we hit 200 likes, there'll be a secret download or basically a giveaway for you guys for uh, basically a thank you from me. But this secret download will have every last secret download that you ever missed. So actually, every one from last year I will try to put. So please leave a like. Also, a new product came out uh, yeah, about yesterday or two days ago uh, while watching this video. It's called Sleek Pre-Made Revamp. It's only $9 for a YouTube banner, Twitter header, avatar, and overlay. All fully editable, customizable color, text, and all that cool stuff. So if you guys want to purchase, you can click on the screen right now. Uh, as well, if you click on the screen, you can go to the site page and actually look at the, uh, the description below to actually see all the HD quality pictures of all the uh, little, you know, uh, the pieces to it. So thank you guys so much for clicking on this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, all that cool stuff if you guys need to understand some other things. Enjoy the video. Peace. All right, so what we're going to do here is going to move over just a little bit. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna simply start off how we always start off with our process of creating a logo. We're gonna sketch out different ways of drawing this S. So I'm gonna do that right now. Let's uh, let's uh, let's uh, try this. All right, boom. Something like this. We can go simplistic. You can go with curves. You can go with anything you really want to. I'm gonna go with like simple, like nice, simple, uh, straight, you know, points and such. Uh, what else do I got in my head right now? We can do something like this. I have no clue. Uh, really, just I'm just d drawing random stuff, you know. Of course. Um, boom, boom, boom. Uh, I don't, I don't really know what I'm gonna work with here. But we can go simplistic and not try and go so hard with it. So we can also do something like this. Let's just try something like simple, with like a triangle on the top, and then a triangle on the bottom. Let's work. Yeah, right, down. I, I'm working with this. This is a lot more better than anything right now. So, of course, you know, like I'm sketching, I was doing really weird, really just different sketches, which, which, which you probably should be doing. I'm not going to lie. You should probably do like something different out of your comfort zone. I don't know what the hell I was thinking here, but, you know, it led me to think it's not something like simplistic like this. So, of course, just keep trying and sketching. I have, like I said, a whole page of different letters and different sketches of different ways to draw it. So, of course, give it a try. And uh, when you feel like you're good with something, you're ready for something, we can do that. So what we're going to do, we're going to sketch this a little bit bigger since we, we're going to work with this one. So we're going to simply do a uh, nice little dotted line down the middle here. Let me make sure you guys can see and all that stuff. All right. And we're just going to simply do something like this. And we will fix this in a second. I already see a problem occurring. And then we'll do something like this. And then we gotta complete it off. So let's uh, go ahead and simply just box it off. And I already saw this problem. I knew it. I knew it. Oh, let's try something different then. Let's uh, let's uh, follow it. Let's go ahead and do that. And that. And then do that. I don't know. Something weird. That's what I got out of it. I'm going to go with it. <laughs> and then something like that. So we have this really weird concept. Uh, not too weird. It just looks really sloppy on the top because it is sloppy at the moment. But when you do put it in Illustrator either or Illustrator or Photoshop, of course, which is preferably Illustrator, of course. So I know, guys, I know there's a big difference between Illustrator and Photoshop, but there's also the really big similarity. They both have the pen tool, and you can also, you know, pen tool that AI and also just transfer to a uh, Illustrator. But, of course, if you're comfortable with either, either one, that's perfectly fine. So we're going to go ahead and work with this. It's a little weird, but we're going to work with it because it's cool. All right, so... Let's just say you're done with your concept. So I right now I have this like really weird like you know ongoing like little zigzag thing going down and like go around the top part. So that's something different for me. I did that on an accident. You guys saw it, it just works with sketching. So 
obviously some of you guys won't be able to get to this part this is where that you know that part where i was at the tour where like everyone's like you know why you know this letter is too easy you know so this is where you guys gotta think so you guys wanna understand you don't have to focus completely which is really important you don't have to focus completely on the concept you guys can understand there's a whole bunch of logos out there that have uh, the letter is simplest, like as simplistic as possible, but a really cool surrounding scheme to it, or surrounding shapes, or surrounding abstract, whatever. So what I can work with is I'm going to show you guys some examples here. You can do some cool little like a, like a, I don't know, wing shaped somethings. I have no clue. You see this a lot because it really works for other people, and it just gets rid of the uh, the the hardship which comes to you know creating this design. Oh, I don't know, like something like that. Something like that, right? You can have this on both sides. Or if you're not some person who really likes boxy cut shapes, um, which I don't in particular, I, I like to do these little curves. So I'm going to try and do something like this where I curve it and do something a little different. And maybe something like that. I don't really like that too much. I want to put that in just a little bit. Just like so. And then let's bring this down just a little bit. And then do something like that. I don't know. Something like, I don't know. I like this little curvy stuff. This is what I like. Of course, you guys are going to have a lot of different things uh, in your mind when you want to do something. So but that's what I like to do. These little cool, cool little curve thing. So I can have this on both sides if I really wanted to. Um, so as well as this... You can also, let's just say if we erase some of this top part right here. Let's just erase this right here. We got that going. Let's just erase these two edges here. You guys got to understand there's a lot of cool stuff you can do. You know, I just try to do those little cool little wing things on the top. We can also try and uh, try and do that over here. Let's try and do that on the top where you can, like, see extend itself. I don't know, something like that. Oop, let's just get, that rid of, get rid of that there. And then just extend itself over there to get these cool little, you know, like shapes that are going out that way. Uh, you can either open it up even more, like erase more and just put more of these like cool little things over here, over here though. But also, let's just see if we can actually try to combine what we had over there. All right, you know, simple enough. I just, I try to combine what we had before. I erased it because I really didn't want it there at the moment just so you guys can focus on this part. But what I tried to do is combine it so that it kind of looks cool where I have this little, you know, outside shape coming out of nowhere from the logo, and then it, like, you know, kind of, like, blends in to the outside, what I try to do over here, so something like that can work out, it's all about what you can do on the, like, on the, around as well, so, I don't know, it works for me, I, I'm just trying to give you guys some cool little tips and stuff, so you can either do that, uh, let's just keep that solo, and imagine this wasn't here, you can have this on both sides, um, let's also try to do... Um, let's let's try to keep working with this concept. But let's try something a little different. Let's just say let's just make sure we have this in the right position. And let's just say we did something like this, and we had that there, and then this is in the middle, and we just had this coming down. Another simple, just little boxy shape, right? And oh, also don't be afraid, guys, to you know curve edges or corners. Uh, I'm gonna keep that little point. But what I mean by curving edges. It's simply enough, just take your you know pen like your pen tool or whatever you're working with. Obviously we're working with pencil, I meant to say pencil, and then simply enough just curve it and see if you like what it comes to. Like it just looks like a cool little design there. And then we can try it on this corner over here. Um, boom. Edge. And then maybe a, a edge right there. No, let's just keep that straight. Oh shit, I just broke the tip of the freaking pencil. All right, something like that, you know, like a weird little edge there. But what I'm working with here is what I kind of like had going, uh, maybe like here or something. What I kind of like, this is kind of like what I was looking at to look at. Um, so you see here, this is where the S kind of like is where it's looking at right now. Um, but you see that the S doesn't go down; it goes like to the left more too. So what I'm gonna try and do is make something that has to do about going to this direction, so we actually know that it's still an S when we look at it. And what I'm thinking. Maybe this will look pretty dang cool. Maybe if I had that, you know, edge like rounded right there as well. But you know, something like this, more of like a weird, weird shape. I don't know. This is a different type of style. I really don't know what I was going for here, but it looks pretty cool. You know, what I what I basically have is it doing this. And since I don't, you know, you really can't tell. It looks like more of like a question mark type of logo uh, or like type of scheme or something. But I can do something like that. That's what I did, and then I just put a line going that way, so it kind of like imagines that this is like not there. I don't know. I don't. I just try to go for something different, and you can still see 
that this basically looks like an S. You want to lose that shape. So that's what I mean by that. And of course, then you can just try some of these little cool things on the side, or uh, I don't really know. They can just do something around it. A uh, cool box shape. I have no clue. Basically, like a simple outline of it. Uh, and then see what you come out with. I don't know. I have that little box and like cut it inside. I don't know, you guys just got to think. It's just basically thinking around this hard concept you really cannot do. Do something that complements it or uh, basically leads you to do something that you're more comfortable with. Maybe like if, you know, this is like a, this is, you can see that this is more of an E. Let's say if E is your favorite. You can see I extended it out here and, you know, it's not an E. It's not supposed to be an E. But you can see what I went, you know, I'm trying to talk, you know, I'm trying to like think in a, a way that you guys can understand what I'm like thinking. Um, let's just say this shape is, you're more comfortable with these kind of shapes. So extend this letter, you're, this letter you're working with and then, you know, then, you know, start creating some other stuff that you're more comfortable with around it. So that's basically the moral to this little tutorial here. And hopefully I'll put this in Photoshop. All right, guys, now we have this all stuff sketched out. I moved into Photoshop. I thought it'd be pretty cool if I showed you guys by a complete cool idea and uh, what I kind of went through and what kind of like mindset I had when I sketched this out. So I have a pretty, uh, pretty cool idea to actually pencil this thing out uh, a little bit differently than when I sketched it, but it's still the same exact way. So hopefully what I do show you guys right now and I'm going to actually perform the logo or actually pencil it out and do these little paths and whatever, uh, give you guys some cool inspiration, like cool stuff. So yeah, I know I'm doing this in Photoshop. You could do this. You could do this in Illustrator. I, I know that. All right, guys. And uh, of course, if you didn't know, if you when you do a path in Photoshop, you actually import it or export it. I mean, from uh, Photoshop to Illustrator, simply by just going to File, Import, Path to Illustrator, and then you just pick Work Path. It'll have a drop down say Work Path, and then you press OK, and then you actually open that Work Path up in Illustrator. And as well as the same exact thing as you do in Photoshop, you can just use your Photoshop as a cool little like a prep room, I guess you can say, and then complete it off in Illustrator and all that cool stuff. So yeah, you could do that. All right, let's go. So we're gonna just simply just uh, get a nice little ruler here. And what I'm gonna do is only do half of this. I like the first part a lot. I like this little dip and stuff, so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna pencil that out. So what I'm gonna do use my pencil, which is P on your keyboard, or this little light bulb looking thing. If you guys have no clue what it is, it's just a simple, nice little uh, tool to actually make a path, which you can actually fill in and just basically make your own custom shapes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this little path here. I'm gonna click along this sketch that I have, and if you hold Shift, you can make straight lines. So if I click to the left or to the right, um, I'm, just, I'm just if I hold Shift, it'll make a straight line for me, so I have to guess. And I'm just going to simply just go like this, holding shift again, boom, holding shift again, this little dip right here, I'm going to hold shift again, and then over here, shift again, boom, shift, up here, down here, holding shift again, and then connecting, I'm going to hide this little picture for us, and then this is what I have here, so I'm going to fiddle with this just a little bit, now when you're doing this kind of stuff in Illustrator, it's going to be a lot easier, because of uh, the spacing and such, you can really, you can really like, you know, pinpoint it because of the ruler settings or these cool little, uh, little path settings. I don't know. I really can't explain it unless you're in Illustrator. But if you are an Illustrator, you can understand what I'm trying to talk about. It's a lot easier. So just give it a try if you're not an Illustrator, or if you don't have Illustrator, give it a try. I promise. You probably like it. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and just move this over here, and you can see the spacing is a little bit off. Uh, it's all right because I'm not like trying super hard to like make it perfect. But of course, when you're doing it for a client and such, and make it as perfect as possible. And we're gonna go ahead and go like that. We're gonna move this over just a little bit. And the way, if I didn't, if you, I, I'm, I freaking gotta explain it. I'm sorry, but since your path is closed, you can actually control and click on the path to open it up. And you can see your points again. And you also uh, control control again. It's like controls your best friend in this freaking thing. And you can select points by holding control. And you can select multiple ones by holding control and shift. So that's a thing. That's what I'm doing. And then if I hold control and if I just select the, like around, you can see this little box. I'm just hovering over and I can select multiple points like that as well. So that's what I'm doing here. So I don't want to lose you guys. You're not a pen tooler and such. But yeah, I don't know. I'm liking that. I'm kind of liking this. I'll move this down a little bit. And boom. All right. So I'm like this. So I got half of the S done. I'm going to move this ruler out of the way. And I'm going to uh, hover over this and control T to free transform and hold shift to make it a little bit bigger. And then just move up the corners. And I'm down for this. I'm liking this. All right, so cool. We're going to make a new layer now. Control Shift N. And we're just going to call this half. And uh, this is kind of like the mindset I was going with. I'm really, I'm, I'm freaking excited, okay? Move this over just a little bit. All right. Right click, fill path, drop down, use color. You can now delete the path. Right click, delete path. And then we're just going to multi uh, duplicate it. So holding Alt and Shift, we're going to move it down to duplicate it. And then we hold Control and T. Free transform, right click, uh, flip horizontal plus flip vertical. We're gonna do them both in the same thing. And now we're just gonna move it up and then kind of like, you know, size it up a little bit. Oh, it's looking so cool. I like it. 
It's pretty cool so far. All right, so I have a cool little design with an S, plus these little extensions here. So I, I'm going to keep the extensions because I'm going to use these little wings again. But what we're going to do here is uh, kind of like just go with it a little bit. Boom, boom, hold shift. Uh-huh, boom. Uh-oh. All right, we'll fix that. All right, we're going to hide this picture now. So I <laughs> have these little small wings. All right, I'm going to hold... Uh, control and then select some of these points and move it over a little bit so I can get a bigger bigger spacing in between this kind of stuff here all right all right boom I like that fix this up over here and maybe fix this up over here move this over here I actually make this a little bit bigger it looks kind of weird being so small there all right all right I like that I'm down for that um mm. all right you know I'm fiddling with it you know it's kind of like I just want to show you guys what the process is of how I do things here and I'm actually going to move this over here more, maybe. And maybe this over here more as well. Like that. Do I want to do that? I don't know. Boom. Uh, boom. Do I like that? I don't know. But of course, I'm just trying to do some cool stuff. Um, yeah, it looks good. I think it looks okay. All right, we're going to go with that. We're just going to go with that. Actually, no, we're not. I got I to gotta, I gotta mess around with this. I can't just leave it looking like something I don't want it to. All right, we're fine with that. I think we're okay with this. All right, so what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna make another new layer, right-click, fill path. I'll probably make this perfect in the beginning of the video, you'll probably see it, but all right, anyways, right-click, fill path. I'm gonna delete the path now, and I'm gonna just duplicate it over just like I did before. Since everything's like almost the same exact, uh, since everything is the same exact shape, these two things, if I just duplicate it and I flip it, it should actually line up perfectly. If I just flip it vertically now, it should line up pretty darn perfect like so if I did it that way now did it it should have it didn't too much no it's because it messed up over here too if I just fix that really quickly let's just fix that let's do that let's just please fix that all right so that's what I'm saying use illustrious light user I'm just gonna use the path and just duplicate it that'll be a little bit better and then flip horizontal flip vertical move it over here now all right and then if I have to fix anything, I will just do it freely over here, like so. And then we'd be good to go. All right. All right, boom. I'm down for that. All right, now I can just go on the new layer, right-click, fill path, and then fill it in. And then we have a simple, or not simple, but a cool, complex, cool little S here. And it was completely done by just using abstract shapes and just cool little, you know, corresponding shapes and, like, cool stuff. And just, you know, filling the outside, I guess, of the logo to make the logo itself. Also... This cool little shape here we have, which is duplicated the same exact shape on the bottom, and actually made a cool little S, and especially just trying to, like, you know, I just try to make the top look pretty cool. Like, this little, like, the top part before, or let me just show you on this. We just try to make this little part look cool and then, like, have a simple bottom. But we did something a little bit different. It's okay to do that kind of stuff, so that's what I kind of want you guys to do. But anyway, that's the tutorial for today. I really hope you guys enjoyed. I probably will fix this, uh, this little thing for the beginning of the video to showcase what we're going to be doing in this video. But you guys completed it, so thank you guys so much. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe if you guys haven't already. Please follow me on Twitter, at SessoHQ. Please check out the site, selfie.com slash SessoHQ, to actually check out some cool pre-mades and quality products and packs for you guys to purchase as low as $5. So please check that out if you guys are looking for some cool new design stuff to use. Thank you guys so much for watching. SessoHQ out. Peace.